Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel. Today in this video, we are going to dive in into a fascinating topic which is how we can utilize OpenAI or ChatGPT with a productivity tool known as Microsoft Excel and take our productivity to the next level. Now before we begin, if you are new to our channel or haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to be a part of Technoholic family. Now let's get into it. Now before actually I start jumping into my system and show you how we can utilize this chat GPT with Microsoft Excel, let me give you a brief introduction of chat GPT. A chat GPT is an innovation I would say by OpenAI and is a versatile tool that has a power to significantly upgrade your not only Excel experience, but you know, any kind of experience because it is a very general tool available. But here in this video, we will see how you can upgrade your Excel experience utilizing ChatGPT. Today, as I said before, we will explore how we can integrate ChatGPT with Excel and will demonstrate capability with some basic calculations, chart creations, and so many more. So without further ado, let's get started. Now here we are at our computer screen. The first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open chat GPT. So for that, here you can see I have already opened web browser. You need to type here chat.openai.com. And if you are opening this website for the first time, you can simply click here on sign up and utilizing your Google account, you may successfully able to sign up. Since I already have account, so I'm going to click here on login. Now let me make it aside and quickly open Excel. And here I already have created few tabs to show you examples how we can utilize ChatGPT in Excel. So let me make it aside. And now here we can see both Excel and ChatGPT side by side. Now consider the situation when you are very new to Excel and want to understand how I can sum up the cost of all these items. So um, let's say I want to show the sum here, but I'm not aware of how I can calculate. So let's start asking ChatGPT, how can I calculate the sum of all these prices? So if I click here equal, then here you can see the cell name is B2, B3, B4 and likewise till B10. So here what we need to do is we need to add these cells that start from B2 to B10. And you can also recognize the name by seeing columns and rows. So this is B column and this is row number 2. So that's why this is B2. Similarly, this is row number 10 and column is B. So that is why it is B10. Now, let me find what the formula look like. So let me ask ChatGPT here. Hey ChatGPT, help me out in calculating the sum of 9 items. The price listed in B2, B3, B4 like that till B10. And I want the sum to be listed at B11, full stop. And then I'm going to mention that the software I am using is Excel. And one thing I want to tell you that you do not need to worry about how I am writing. You can write it in your own way. The chat GPT is capable enough to understand the context or what exactly you are asking him to do. Now let me hit enter and let's see what it actually come up with. Um, let me make it slightly bigger so that it is much more visible. So here you can see surely I can help with that to calculate the sum of the item that listed in cells from B2 to B10 and display the result in B11. You can use the sum function. So it is actually providing me the complete formula. How can I calculate the total value of these items? And then um, here it is also showing me step by step method. So what I need to do is it is saying select cell B11. So this one is cell B11. So I have selected that. And now it is saying that um, type the formula into the cell. So 
So let me quickly copy the formula and now uh, I'm gonna you know type it here or you know paste it here and then it is asking me to press enter so let me hit enter and there we go so here you can see the sum of all these items will be seventeen hundred and five dollars and on the right hand side it is also saying the same that excel will calculate the sum of values in cells from b2 to b10 and display the result in cell b11 so that's exactly what i asked chat gpt to help me out and the same he have provided so let's say i also want to know how much is the average amount i spent in above items i'm gonna mention that i want to see result in b 12 now let's see what it come up with so here you can see it have provided as formula now what i need to do is i need to simply copy the formula and paste it wherever we want and hit enter and there we go here we can see we have spent around 189.44 average amount in all these items now let's switch to our another tab which is data organization and manipulation so here also i'm going to show you how we can utilize chat gpt in data organization and manipulation if i talk about excel itself it is a powerful tool for organizing and manipulating data with chat gpt assistance you can easily short data filter it based on specific criteria remove duplicates merge or split cells it is convenient way to efficiently manage and analyze the information in excel for example i'm gonna ask chat gpt to write an excel formula to short data by price in ascending order in the cells b2 through b10 and now let me hit enter and here we go here we can see it shows how we can short the data by price in ascending order okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to paste the same formula that is provided by chat gpt let me place it here and now let me hit enter and there we go now here we can see the items now being arranged based on their price so we can see the cheapest item on the top and then the most expensive one in the end now let's say i want to revert the situation then what i can ask is make the price in descending order and now let's see what formula it come up with and here we go here we can see we just need to make it um, minus one previously it was plus one and one thing i initially forget to talk with you about is a2 to b10 which is from here to here so basically here it is talking about the whole array now this time it have given us a different formula so let me quickly copy it and then let me place it here and this time let's see what happens and there we go here we can see the price of the expensive item is on the top and everything is now in descending order so in this way guys we have seen how we can organize or reorganize or manipulate data inside excel by asking chat gpt how to do it now let's move on to more interesting section which is creating charts and graph utilizing excel and asking chat gpt for help if i talk about excel excel provide various charts and graph option to visualize data you can ask chat gpt to help you to create different different types of charts such as bar graph line graph pie chart scatter plot based on your data and many more here we can see we have created some sample data the country name you can see on the left and then there is a population of those countries let's say here i want to create a bar chart and i do not know how to do it so let's ask chat gpt for help so i'm gonna write here i would like to create a bar chart in microsoft excel where the values are placed from in column a there are countries comma in column b there is a population of those countries full stop and i have header in row number one 
which is country and population full stop now following is very simple sentence i asked chat gpt to create a bar chart in excel and then i explained chat gpt that where the values are placed and what are those values now let me hit enter now here we can see the chat gpt is saying that select the range of data including the header in this case select cells a1 to b10 this one will be the whole selection this one is a1 and this one is b10 now the second heading says click on insert in excel ribbon so let me go here in the tab and click on insert let's see now what the third step says in the chart section choose the desired type of chart for a bar chart you can select cluster bar or stacked bar upon option under the bar chart category so let me go here and let me see this is the chart group and from here i can select any chart so that we can see it in a more clear way now from here we can select these charts so let me see here and this one is the bar chart so let me click on it and there we go here we can see the preview of these charts so based on our need we can choose anyone and can place it here the last and very important thing where i would like chat gpt help is in automating tasks with macros the excel provide helpful feature called macros that allow you to automate the repetitive task for example um, instead of manually creating these bar chart what i want is i always place some kind of data here within a click or whenever i run that particular macro the excel itself create those graph for me so let's see and understand how we can create macro which is more of programming where chat gpt really can help us out then in that way you do not need to learn how to program your macro so let's see how we can do that so again we are back in same interface the right hand side is chat gpt and this time i'm gonna ask him I would like to create a macro where the data will be placed on the first two columns A and B and the use of the macro will be it will create bar charts automatically full stop the first column will be the country name and the second column will be the population full stop the number of rows may vary full stop now let's see what it actually come up with and there we go you can see we do not need to worry about the code now the chat gpt itself can create this code and write macro for us now let me go back to excel and follow the steps that chat gpt have provided the first one is press alt and f11 so let me press alt and f11 it also may happen guys um the f11 button may not work for you in that case you may need to press fn that generally happen in case of laptop where the f or function buttons are by default multimedia controls so you can toggle them utilizing fn button that is provided in laptop keyboards so we just saw how we can open this visual basic application editor now in vba editor we need to go to insert and then we need to click on new module so let's do that click on insert new module now in this new module we need to enter the following code so you simply need to click on copy code and then paste it so it is that easy guys and then um, you need to modify the code as needed so we will do that later on such as changing the seat name okay so that is i think is needed because our seat name is the following so let me quickly copy the seat name and let me place it here okay and then here you can see we can close this vba editor so let me quickly close it and now to run the macro here we can see um, we need to press alt plus f8 let me again press alt and f8 and now we can run this macro so let's click here on run and there we go here we can see the bar chart now came up with but it seems that it have selected the wrong data so let me actually ask chat gpt to update the code okay now i'm gonna request please update 
the code and let's see what it actually come up with okay so here is updated code and as here mentioned please make sure to update the sheet name sheet one if the data is on different sheet so this uh, we are going to do it again so so now let me quickly replace the code first and then as here it have asked to change the name of sheet to the original one and here we are aware of this is the name of our sheet now again let me quickly close it now again let me press alt plus f8 and run this code and there we go finally here we can see it have generated this graph automatically now we also wanted to customize it in a way that we want let's say for example first of all i would like to tell the chat gpt that my sheet name is this and then i would like to see the bar chart to be vertical and the color of bars to be red for example okay now we're gonna see the updated code now let me copy it and again press alt plus f8 click on edit now let me just simply delete it and paste the new code and this time i think we do not need to worry about writing my sheet name and let me again press alt and f8 and click on run and there we go this is the customization we have asked for and the same we have received isn't it amazing guys you do not need to worry about writing all these codes this will happen for you automatically in the similar way guys chat gpt offers you endless possibilities and help the way you want your data to be presented in microsoft excel and that's wrap up our today's videos on how we can improve our overall experience and productivity utilizing chat gpt in microsoft excel as we journey through the world of technology remember that there is always something new to learn and we at technoholic here to make it easier for you if you found this video helpful and informational don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and for any query or any suggestion feel free to drop a comment below and as always thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will catch you soon in my next one till then take care and bye bye